Welcome to the Global Development Commons, or GDC for short. The GDC is envisioned to be a digital ideas platform centered around SDG child-focused programming. It will be co-led by three important but often disconnected groups, that is, decision makers, frontline workers, and last but not least, young people. Our hope is to develop a UNICEF-supported, open access, and co-created platform where multiple users contribute knowledge and ideas. In this free and public digital space, users will be able to solve problems and source real-time solutions on programs and policies that affect children. The core content for the platform will come from UNICEF's evaluations, research, data sources, and innovations centered on child-focused programming. While UNICEF's content forms the backbone of the GDC, the heart of it will serve the needs of decision makers, the main audience for the platform. Through crowdsourcing, users can contribute content that speaks to, with, and about UNICEF's work. Through this crowdsourcing element, the GDC will cultivate empowerment. For decision makers, including UNICEF's government partners, the GDC will give direct access to knowledge shared by community members and specialists. Instead of relying on experts outside of local settings, decision makers can shift power to the people to tell them what works for children in their communities. For frontline workers, the GDC will be a reliable channel for knowledge needed for day-to-day -day operations in the field. Lastly, for young people, the GDC opens an opportunity to be included in the conversation. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. To create a better world for the first generation of digital youth, the GDC could give young people a space to share their views and opinions about the work that directly affects them. On the technical side, the platform will follow what we call a honeycomb structure. Like bees that work together to form a hive, individual users will co-create a digital collective. Users can explore and engage with content contributed from users all around the world. The content itself will be composed of mixed mediums. Rather than a simple e-library, different types of content, such as reports, podcasts, and videos, will form combs that cluster around specific topics. While the GDC is in its beginning stages of development, these mock-up pages envision what the platform will look like. Here's the landing page of the platform. What's unique about the GDC is that, one, in real time, it will gather data on usage. Through content contributions and feedback, the GDC will show where people are talking, how many are talking, and what issues they are talking about. And two, the GDC is designed to be dynamic. The layout of the platform will encourage users to not only learn, but also interact with information. Next, country pages show topics and visualize where contributors are located in that country as well as around the world. Each country page will also house local social media for the UNICEF country office and local events. In addition to country pages, users can also navigate the site through thematic pages. For example, the thematic page for education has been filtered here for girls' education. The honeycomb shows the type of content available along with the name of the user and where they are from. Users engage by adding reviews, commenting, or liking content. Having the ability to share content on the platform is key to its crowdsourced and collaborative nature. As seen here, contributors can upload primary and secondary content across a variety of mediums. Below are some other key features of the site. The most important is that UNICEF will serve as the content moderator, ensuring all content is safe and complies with digital governance policies. To build the initial prototype, we are working on the GDC with students from Harvard, Columbia, Bryn Mawr, Haverford, Swarthmore, Wellesley, and NYU. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to know more, feel free to reach out using the email listed below.